What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Now, plenty of you have asked me, Brandon, are you gonna be coming back to do a Halloween video for us this year? Now I think I finally have an answer. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, the KSG-12. That's right, today we are talking about the kel KSG-12. This is a pretty well-known shotgun because of, of course, pop culture, movies, video games, that sort of thing. But I remember this thing was a big deal when it came out. It was the first time I can remember where everybody actually wanted a kel -Tec. Now, kel kind of has an interesting reputation in the gun community, partially because everything they make feels like it was manufactured from recycled, washed up Florida beach plastic. The other is because they are literally allergic to designing anything that's not fucking weird. Seriously, there's a reason why there's a meme talking about the Caltech R&D department having meetings involving a toy choo-choo train loaded with cocaine. Some of their shit's pretty whack. But the KSG-12 is one of many Caltechs I own, but one of the few that I actually kind of like. So let's dive into it. But first, we'd like to take a quick second to talk about the sponsor of this video, Aura. See, guns are really neat. One of their many uses includes being a deterrent for crime. But do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is? It's actually identity theft, and there's a new victim every 14 seconds. And unfortunately, a lot of the companies that sell guns and gun parts don't have the best data practices. That's why I'm excited to partner with Aura. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. Sure, you might have one of these services already, but if you don't have all the tools, it's kind of like locking your front door while leaving the back door wide open. But seriously, imagine you're trying to log into your email account just to find out that the password had been changed hours ago. It's a scary thought, and unfortunately, it's reality for a lot of people. Thankfully, Aura monitors the dark web for your email, password, social security, and sends you quick alerts to either your email or your phone. Hell, they even found some of my information out there from a data breach years ago. So protect your family and yourself from identity theft by going to aura.com forward slash Brandon. Links are also below down in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link. If you do sign up, let me know down in the comments if you found out your personal information had been compromised. Either way, you won't regret checking. Thanks to Aura, back to the video. Yeah, the KSG-12 is a super iconic shotgun. When it came out, it was really kind of the only thing of its kind. It's since then been used in a bunch of movies and such and uh, prominently featured in the first John Wick film. Hence why I'm dressed like a morbidly depressed accountant. You just shouldn't have killed this fucking dog, man. Now, if you would probably do the same thing John Wick did if somebody came into your house and killed your dog, go ahead and subscribe. Also, you might want a KSG-12. Might help. So what is the Caltech KSG-12? It's a fucking shotgun. Retard. I kid, I kid. But it, 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 I mean, it is a shotgun, yeah. But what makes it special is that even though it is your typical pump action shotgun, it actually feeds from two individual tubes instead of just one. I Meaning you can double your magazine capacity. I'm leaving set now. A few moments later. Now on a typical pump shotgun, you just have your tube under the barrel here. <laughs> I know, I get it, tube. You've got your tube under the barrel and that basically acts as your magazine. The, uh, the shotgun shells stack in the, in the tube and then they feed out the back here. So this is both where you load it and when you pump the shotgun, this little claw comes down, picks up, and then loads it into the chamber. The KSG-12 has two of them, as you can see there from the front. This doubles your capacity over the standard pump shotgun. That plus the fact that it's in a bullpup configuration, which yes, I do give this one a pass. It allows for the tubes to extend all the way to the length of the legal 18 and a half inch length barrel, which gives you a little bit extra capacity than some of the other shotguns that end just shy of the barrel. So this leaves you with two tubes with seven rounds a piece, meaning you have a 14 round capacity out of this pump shotgun. Not bad. 
For the pump here, we put an angled foregrip on it to give you something nice and positive to grab onto when you're running the gun. For the optic, we have an EOTech ESPS-3 on top. And other than that, this is pretty much just a factory gun. Your safety is this little button here. So pushing it in here puts it on safe and pushing it back over puts you on fire. Now, just like a typical pump shotgun, uh, when the pump is all the way forward, and I'll go ahead and clear this so you guys can see, this is uh, entirely clear. We cleared it before we got up here. It locks the pump forward, so you'd have to pull the trigger to be able to rack it again. Now, most pump shotguns have a release, which allows you to manually uh, release this and you know cycle the gun again. This one has it in a really cool space. It's uh, right in front of the trigger guard here. So there's this little tab that you pull down and that allows you to run the pump. They lock it forward because they don't want you pulling it out of battery on accident or something and then causing issues with your gun. All right, I know I might be getting a little technical, so no worries. ADD break. Hey kids, you like violence? Very nice. Uh, suffice to say, I think we have annihilated our white claws here. Shouldn't have killed my dog. Yeah, you can make your fed jokes now. <laughs> Now the kel KSG already has pretty great capacity considering it has, you know, seven in each tube that's 14 rounds of 12 gauge. However, you can dramatically increase that when you use stuff like these mini slugs. See, they're a lot shorter than the average shotgun shell, which means that if you're using it in a tube style shotgun like this, you can fit a lot more. I mean, you could actually turn this into a pretty decently high capacity shotgun, which just proves that sometimes there is an advantage to being a little bit smaller. See, it's not about the size of the shell, it's about the motion and the... Eh, you get it, it's a dick joke. Now, the mechanical operation of the gun itself really kind of feels like an Ithaca 37 on the inside, just with the way feeding works and everything. Although, I will say that a lot of pump shotguns, most pump shotguns pretty much operate the same way. They all do it slightly different, but there's really only so many ways you can skin that cat. They all kind of borrow from each other. However, one thing that the KSG-12 has that not a lot of other shotguns have, which I think is a really cool feature, and, and there's situations where this could be really practical, the ability to switch between the two tubes. So for example, I could load up one of these tubes entirely with uh, door breaching rounds, slugs, whatever, and the other with, let's say, buckshot, or uh, you know, if you really wanted to be mean, Flechettes, Dragon's Breath, it's a pump shotgun, it'll cycle pretty much anything, so the sky's the limit, use your imagination. But you have a little lever here that will allow you to switch between which tube that you're actually pumping from, which is super cool and actually gives the user a lot of options. So this is not just your average White Claw penetration test, this is a White Claw simulated door breaching penetration test. You see, my left tube in the shotgun is loaded with buckshot, but what I have in my pocket is a surprise tool that will help us later. I've got slugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these up in the tube on the right side. And basically what I'm gonna demonstrate is how this could be useful to have two different ammunition types stored in each different tube. So let's say you're door breaching with slugs. We just go right up to our raspberry scented door here and we annihilate it. But there's people in that room. So we're gonna wanna switch back over to buckshot and annihilate everybody that is in said room. But wait, now that we've turned the entire room into mincemeat, there's another bad guy way down the way. So we're gonna switch back to our slugs and engage. No more bad guy, way far away. I mean, I've already hit him with a slug, but just in case he thought I was sorry. <laughs> okay, this shotgun's pretty neat. Well guys, I truthfully hope that you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. I hope you have a very, very fun and safe, debaucherous Halloween. Speaking of which, I actually have to go home and take care of a bunch of skinwalkers that are dressed as trick-or-treaters. So, as always, I appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end. And I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks guys, be safe.
What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Now, plenty of you have asked me, Brandon, are you gonna be coming back to do a video for Halloween this year? Now, I think I finally have an answer. No, I'll do that again. That was fucking shit.